it's like nobody ever did that. Not like I'm expecting y'all to do it, but y'all y'all tell me all this stuff all the time, and I ain't even get that from when I was in those situations. Right. And I told most of them about it. Right. So I'm I'm oh, I'm gonna tell I, you I'm gonna tell you a sad reality, right? And I'm, I'm gonna tell you this because I want it to be like a wake up call to you, right? So you 22 right. years old, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I need you to understand from the most purest place in me, those that raised you and those that were older than you failed you to a certain extent when it comes to like what you just said, giving me real life advice, real life lessons that will help me in a way to where I can get ahead and focus on self for the first part right. of my life. People right. that be 21, 22 you know, under 25, pouring all they little energy into a relationship or an attachment with another motherfucker is the complete opposite of what you're supposed to be doing. So what parents are not telling their children, what teachers are not teaching in these schools, what college professors are not telling people is that with the everyday schooling information you're getting based on whatever career path or based on whatever curriculum, if you do not pour into self, energy and time to where you feel good about your existence to where you understand you to where you understand your wants to where you understand what you need you will end up in a space where you will pour that type of stuff into others and the knowledge that you have will not serve you in the way that it's supposed to so for people graduating high school or like you said turning 16 really becoming that that you are a teenager graduating high school 18 19 where everybody's saying get out your mama house type shit you're supposed to be yeah, in that's a. That's what I did too. I did. I fell in that trap immediately. I and that's, did. That's I, left, I left. I left at nineteen. Left at nineteen. Been living on my own since nineteen. Left him and been at my mom's. But it's like I'm not. I can't. There's nowhere for me to go, or I feel comfortable enough because I left too soon. Right. You did. And and I'm. I'm. I will, like. Okay. So basically, what I'm saying is, I want to apologize to you as somebody that's a little bit older than you, and you know. The, the torch not getting passed sooner on the advice. I can hear like, you know, the emotion in your voice. Like, and it's wrong. It's wrong in the black community how we think 18 is some age that it automatically clicks that now you throw these adolescents and these young people out into the world to just get ate up behind the same right. shit that 35 and 40 year olds is getting ate up on. 50 year is stupid, yeah. it's the dumbest shit ever. This whole idea that the government gave you the age of 18 to then like, damn near turn your back on your blood out here in the world and when i say turn your back people think because they equipped you with some clothes and the understanding that you got to work and pay bills they've equipped you or prepared you for life is some fuck shit it's not i encourage you to stay at home as long as you need to to get the real shit down pat which is credit financial literacy understanding self identifying and managing emotions having a plan or some type of goal setting for yourself to where when you step off your mama porch you know what the fuck you about to be doing based on what you want because otherwise all you gonna do from the age you is now 22 to about 27 is attach yourself to different niggas and different friends and shit and mold and change yourself based on what they want and what they show you and trying to be accepted by them if you can get the stuff that i'm on like if you can embrace the shit from my videos at 22 you're gonna be way raw at 25 and, and, and 27 and 28 than i am you get what i'm saying So now, have you put any real thought into like what you want for you? What type of career path? What type of lifestyle? Like, what you no, want I, for when you? I finish, I, when I finish school, like I graduated through all this stuff that I went through. I finished. I uh, got my I got two bachelor's degrees in three years. I got my master's in psychology. Like I finished all that shit. Right. Like, I got my master's in psychology. Like, I finished all that shit. Like, I got my master's in psychology. Like, I finished all that shit. Like, I got my master's in psychology. Like, I finished all that shit. Like, I got my master's in psychology. Like, I finished all that shit. Like, I got my master's in psychology. Like, Cause I, you know, I have, I'm the oldest of four and my mom's the same parent. Mm -hmm. I have, um, you know, younger siblings who look up to me and, you know, I've always been considered the golden child cause I'm the honor roll and, space, gotcha. and, you know, change, and I can you know, relate. You're doing all the stuff, you know what I'm saying? You're doing all the stuff pleasing everybody all the time. Like, you know, I used to get paid for having honor roll. Like, like, that's a thing to me. Like, Got I you. Know, of course, I was from that. So listen, I can relate so to what you're saying more than you would ever know. Um, mm -hmm. 
what I'm asking you right now, okay, you got two, you say you got two bachelor's degrees, right? Yes. What yes. are they in? Uh, political science and English. What did you get them for? What did you want to do with yourself? Um, my, my, I wanted to be a police officer. Okay. Um, and I also was doing social work. Um, when do you, I was doing my okay, cool. Do you not want to do that anymore? I haven't been fully focused on it, no. Um, but I'm asking you, I'm at, listen, take a second and just be in you for a minute. Do you still want to do that or you, you have sights on something else? I have my ideas on other stuff. Okay, cool. But it's, do you have any children? No. Even better. You're 22, no kids, two bachelor's degrees, but they're in something that you don't want to do. Lesson number one, you learn. Like, you got to take time to understand what you want for you or you will end up like you are right now, somebody with two degrees. And do you have any financial aid debt from those two degrees? Yes. Debt with something that you don't actually want to do. Now, what is it that you actually want to do? I, I'm really just, I'm into real estate right now. Okay. Um, but I mean, really, I like to just help people. Like my sister, she's into healthcare. My family's always been into focus people, and that's something that I know I'm, I am have strength in. Um, I've been willing to open, uh, I wanted to open a laundry mat, I've been working on that. I'm kind of looking at me in my real estate right now. Uh, okay, so let's scale back. So out of the stuff you said, one of the most realistic things is getting your real estate license and getting involved in real estate. Um, but here's what you need. This is what you need to do. Because, and again, like I'm, I apologize on behalf of somebody that's a little bit older than you for you not getting the game uh, soon enough. Because there's so many, you know, young people that end up like you where they go after a degree. Nobody tells them that your mind may change. So you want to pick a degree that is something that actually is relevant and matters and the money will appeal to you um, as well. That way, if you kind of, you know, lose your, I don't know if I want to do this it's still paying well enough for you to just go and do it until you figure out a different plan for yourself. And then you ended up with financial aid debt behind some shit you don't even want to do, which I hate that nobody explained that to you. Now, when it comes to the real estate stuff, before you jump in and say, I'm going to go to real estate school or before you follow behind your sister and your other relatives and go try to be a nurse or a CNA like everybody trying to do now, I want you to say that again. That's not my cards. I'm, I don't know. Okay, good. Understand. What I want you... Okay, so what I'm getting at is... Got gotcha. you. What I'm getting at is, regardless of what you choose to do, I want you to go research what that career field, what that actual job title is earning right now in the city and the state that you live in. Like, there are statistics on this stuff for a reason. So before you go get another degree... In something that may not be what you want. Go look at what it realistically pays right now with Corona going on and places being shut down and make a decision based on what you feel like you want and what is real about what's going to happen when you get in that career. I can't tell you how many people I talk to where I sit on the phone and they tell me what they're going to school for and I make them on the phone call Google the current salary of that shit with the state of the economy and the stuff and they don't even they want to get out of school right then. Cause you're just doing shit. Make sense? Yes. So the number one thing I want you to do, map out whatever careers you feel like you want to go into, whatever it is you feel like you want to sell. Look at what people are currently making realistically with that degree or in that job title. Look at what benefits come along with that. Rather there's healthcare, rather there's what, look at certain companies that you can land the biggest jobs with. Look at what it requires to land the jobs that pay the most in that. Because a lot of people don't realize you go get a degree and it doesn't mean anything without the experience, but then nobody wants to hire you to get the experience be, uh, because of course they want somebody with experience already. Yes, yeah. yeah. Makes sense? So this, right now you currently live back with your mom, right? Back with your parents? Yes. Okay. Does your mother require you to pay anything? Uh, she doesn't, but I feel like I should. So I've been telling her we should talk about it. I just got back here. So I feel like it sh I should be taking the responsibility. If she, of it. listen, if she, I'm going to tell you some real shit. It's your mama. If she's not hurting financially for some of your money, don't pay shit. Find you a job and stack money. 
I want you to Wait. write this write this down. On top of okay. researching what I said about the jobs, I want you to spend at least an hour a day researching credit and the four different types of credit, how you can tap into your credit. I want you to like how we be on these apps looking up looking at shit on Facebook, Instagram, turn that shit okay. into an obsession. You're young. If you can get the understanding of credit at fucking 22, you'll be a fucking beast by the time you turn 30. The elite in this country, they live off of the concept of debt and knowing how to utilize that shit. It's a system that once you tap into it, it will work in your favor to where you will come out on top. If your mama don't need the money, like if she was paying bills for you, got then she wasn't massively struggling. Don't pay shit. Nope. Stack some I money. Think, no. she, she did when I was living, even when I was living on my own. Like I was paying for stuff here. So I'm always like, I need to know because this hasn't, it's not, it's, it's like, it's not the first time this happened where, you know, something happened to our house. So it's like, I don't know what you do. So if we do, let me know. I don't want to be living here and you struggling and you're not telling me. Right, right. That's I, I definitely respect for that. Definitely respect for that. But what I need you to understand is, if you master the stuff that I'm talking about, you'll be able to help your mama in a whole nother way. All right. If you get the credit stuff right, if you look into and, and really understand the way that it works, you will be able to help your get credit cards and be able to get, you know, things like a home loan, things like a, a right. business, like shit like that, that will put you in your, you will be able to help your family in a different space than you in now. You ever heard the saying like, like basically instead of you riding my back and slowing me down as I get to the top, let me get up to the top and I can throw down ladders, fucking ropes and everything to bring y'all up here with me. Right, right. You got to see the bigger picture. So you know how they say, stay down till you come up. Stay down. This 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 mentality that I'm hearing from you in your mind that you're trying to be a 22, 22 year old save my family ass person. You're going backwards. Like, let me get my shit together, ma. And I promise you, I got you. Does this make sense to you the way that I'm explaining it? Yes, it does. You got to be able to pour into you and get you right first. And then I want you to, I really want you to, I always tell women, it's important for us to meditate and manage our stress. Because women, we already emotional beings, right? Mm -hmm. The third thing I want you to tap into is just looking up a unique way for you to meditate. You got to be able to cope with the stress that you under. And it comes from generational curses like we talked about in the beginning. It comes from like not passing the right information down to the next generation. P girls like you, part of the reason why I do the videos I do. Because no matter how many people swear they hate my delivery or they can't stand how I look or whatever it is I'm on. I'm saying shit that we needed to hear at your age and younger. So that we don't go through these same cycles with relationships and fucking money and credit and being in debt like you are with fucking student loans and two degrees that a bitch don't even want to use or probably can't if I went to try to get a job because of the way the job market is right now and how the economy changed. Nobody is saying this when you guys are entering. You know how the, the, the recruiters from colleges and shit will come to the schools and talk to y'all in high school about signing up for college? How the financial yeah. aid people come around, they'll help your ass sign up for a student loan, but they'll look you in your motherfucking face and never tell you that you might get a job where it don't even pay enough to pay back this money I'm helping you enemy, trying to help you plan your futures. Like, y'all ain't for me. I remember the faces of some of the black motherfuckers that sat with me in high school and helped me sign up for debt without ever mentioning, like, you could choose a career path or get a loan for a degree that by the time you graduate in four to six years, the market don't even pay what we telling you it pay now. They ain't tell us none of that shit. Right. So now I'm telling yeah, you to I'm move not. different. Don't go jump in real estate school without seeing how real estate is going in your area. Don't go sign up for shit else or put your research credit. Religiously research that shit. Find you a job where you can stack some money. Like just a job. Put your pride to the fucking side. Go work somewhere. Where it is just work. Where I'm here. Give me my check. 
I'm going to do my little hours, stack my bread so you can have some money to then think about investing and moving in your own space. Say that again. Yes, that that's what that's really what we are not teaching our youth at 16, 17 and 18. That in order to win at life, it's a strategy. This shit is chess. It's not checkers. You cannot just be saying, oh, I can't wait till I'm 18 to get out. Like, I got a 14-year-old daughter. I show her the fucking real. She don't want to leave here no fucking time soon. And she ain't got to go nowhere. But when she do, yes, when she do, there's going to be credit, right? There's going to be money saved up. Gonna, I'm, but I'm telling you. Put that private shit to the side. That whole, I'm the oldest. I got to be a certain type of way and be real with yourself, girl. Go back and rebuild, like you said, with a fucking plan. Right. Yeah, I've been sitting around and I noticed, like, I don't really have a plan at all. And that's a problem. That's, that's like the biggest problem. You ever seen that movie, Pursuit of Happiness? Actually, no. You need to watch it. it. Listen, that's the out of the stuff I told you. I want you to do that first. I want you tonight. If you got Netflix or whatever, I don't give a fuck if you got to go online and order that bitch off Amazon. Like, I want you to order the movie Pursuit of Happiness and just watch it. When you watch it, you gonna watch it and be like, damn, I see why she wanted me to watch this. I was just telling Pasa, I think we was talking about it yesterday. I'm going to make. All of my girls watch it. My children are going to, I'm going to make them, I'm going to sit there and make their ass watch it. So you can see how hard life can fucking get and it ain't nobody to help your ass. Like sometimes you tapped out on the fucking help. Like how you said, your mama don't really even got it all the way together to help you. Kid, you need to, they be watching all them fucking Disney movies and shit and you know the parents have, if you just go to college, everything is going to be all right. And it don't work like that. That shit don't work like, they need, I feel like, they ought to make that fucking movie mandatory in schools so you can cry and see how the fuck life will get if you don't have a plan for yourself. Because mm -hmm. it's grown people watch that movie. That shit bring tears to your eyes how that man couldn't catch a fucking break. But that's what's going on with our parents, our grandparents. I want you to watch that movie. Pursuit of Happiness. The, the, the star actor in it is Will Smith. Go watch it. What else did you want to talk about with me? Um, that was it, pretty much. I'm just, I really never had somebody, you know, be able to tell me the stuff that I've been thinking and to myself. And right. And actually confirm it. Right. Just confirm it. That's all. Nobody else really got it. It's okay to cry. It's okay to not be the strong one all the time. I, I want to, like I said, wholeheartedly apologize to you for the generations before you failing to give you the real life shit. And it's like, I, I can't say it enough how many people sit around and have so much to say about my videos and they don't realize how many people is like missing a gap full of information that's fucking affecting the outcome of their life. Go research credit like it's nobody's fucking business. Make it a fucking religion that I'm gonna find out about how this credit shit work. Look into and research whatever career paths you thinking about going in. Research the shit. Before you get in, look at the salaries. Look at like what it takes to get the degree. What people are actually making in your area. And then start making a list of your goals so you can have a plan for yourself. If you book another one-on-one -on -one with me, I want it to be especially for you. On We're going to write out a whole plan for what you want to do with yourself next. So you're not just moving off of emotion. Meditation, I want you to tap into that. It's going to be a way to stress relieve for you to breathe. Like right now, I can hear you cry. Cry. If that's what you got to do, cry and get it out. Like to be like that. I want you to watch that movie, Pursuit. When you, after you watch the movie, I want you to text whichever one of my assistants booked you and tell them, hey, can you let love know I watched the movie? I want to know that. Okay. All right? Yep. I appreciate yeah. you booking with me. I want you to enjoy the rest of your night, baby girl. You as thank you. Thank you, baby. That shit be crazy. She did. She, you could tell she's a smart young lady, but it's just so much shit. Like, this is why I be trying to tell y'all 
A bitch be on time. Oh, she cussed too much. Oh, she this. Man, I'm saying the shit a bitch need to hear. The shit that a motherfucker is not telling these young people how we getting used up in the same cycles in the city. That girl got two bachelor's degrees and got fucking financial aid debt. Nobody was going to tell her. I feel like they need to put the same way they be in there talking about Christopher Columbus discovered America. Now sit your ass in these desks and watch Pursuit of Happiness. It shit be real. With kids and all, they will evict your motherfucking ass. You won't be able to catch a break. Motherfuckers will be around you rich as fuck. Won't give you a meal, a dollar, a fucking dime. You can pray all you want, whatever religion you is. Get on a carpet. Motherfucking go pay a woo lady. I wouldn't give a fuck. Life will be hard on your ass, boy. Hard. And these kids be like, huh, 22, 19, 18. All you niggas keep talking about. Your niggas, urban families, you bitches that be running off the daddies. And how, all y'all want to do is get out and give you money to pay your bills when they fucking get a job at the grocery store or somewhere. That shit be wrong, man. It be wrong. Them jits be literally going through what the fuck the movie depict. Like, just struggle. And your ass be struggling too, not trying to get knowledge, not trying to self-educate. Shit be sad. Bitch be right here talking about like February. It's Black History Month. Let me tell you about your, your ancestors and shit. Great. All well and dandy. The motherfucking light bill on my back like a goddamn devil about to kill me. And you want me to sit here and read about Martin Luther King? Bitch, I'm about dead. I can't march, walk, or listen to no speech. I got to get the rent money, bitch. Y'all be talking about my cussing. Life will cuss you the fuck out. Bust you upside the head with a brick, bitch. That's a bill that will knock you the fuck out. With kids and all. There's motherfucking people homeless right now. Kids and everything. Bitch don't give a fuck about your ass, boy. Be about, let me tell you about Rosa Parks. Listen, I wouldn't give a fuck how long Rosa sat on the bus. In this moment, I can't even think straight. You got to help a bitch with the like... The, the shit that like can clear their mind so they can learn about where we come from and what people stood up for us on. And the black people are not. You can't just be talking about no, man. Life still going to hit when you have a plan, but you're better equipped to deal with it. That girl crying on the phone. She 22, two degrees. Don't want them bitches. Got debt from going to get them bitches. Sitting here saying she only went to college to get them because her mama them was telling her that's what she needed. Worried about helping her family. Don't know what she want to do with herself. The little boy she dating ain't doing right by. What the fuck you going to Oh, let me. It's Black History Month. Let me explain to you what Malcolm X stood for. Bitch can't even breathe through the cries. Exactly. Bitch sitting here crying with her. Because the shit ain't going to get no better for her unless she make it better. That's the sad reality. Your mama can't say... When you get... That's why I be telling y'all as adults with kids to start pouring into y'all selves to be more. So that you can be more of a support system. She can't get a fuck thing from her mama at all. That's why she on the internet talking to me. I hope she do everything. She gonna cry for that movie, watch. She gonna watch that movie and cry. Cause a bitch that ain't even going through nothing like that right now, gonna cry out that motherfucker. Cause life be doing your ass just the fuck like that. Sure do. Yeah, it's all messed up. Bitch be right here teaching kids how to match outfits and shit. Y'all know when it be lives like this, I really don't be giving a fuck what y'all be thinking. I'm just, I just was saying in general, motherfucker be on here talking. That's how you know people lost because they'll get on here and talk about all kind of shit besides the real shit that I'm saying. 
I showed y'all on Instagram the two niggas on Facebook. What the nigga name is? Chad, somebody, somebody they sitting there talking about rather they would want a woman that knows as much as me or some old stupid shit. Meanwhile, the youth failing, motherfucking all kind of shit going on on a bigger scale. Like, y'all two niggas ought to be sitting there instead of making a live about Love Dorsey and if you would date a woman that has a Love Dorsey personality, y'all niggas ought to be sitting there trying to figure out as men how to tap into more of an understanding about credit and putting yourself ahead and dropping some gems on us as a people. Not just young people, but people in general. Niggas, minds be in the wrong space. Oh, she definitely gonna get her mind right. After talking to me, she go watch that movie and she see what the fuck's in store. I. Right. Kids definitely need a head start. I encourage you. Like I say, I do one-on-ones with people, kids that be in college and shit. Their parents book it for them. The kids don't even be knowing who the fuck they talking to. I just be telling their ass. They be on the call just like her. Like, oh my God, that make a lot of sense. Exactly. Your mama told me to call you. I be cussing their ass out and all. They be right on there listening and shit too. Yeah, the kids lost, Brandon, I'm telling you. But it's because of what's not being passed down to them. A bitch needed when they be talking about, oh, we having a popcorn party at school. Yeah, they got to give y'all some popcorn and play Pursuit of Happiness so you can sit there and eat that popcorn and cry. And understand, it's what the fuck going on out here, boy. If you don't have a plan, your ass going to be looking just like he was looking. Sleeping in the car, the motherfucking bathroom at the train station, goddamn anywhere. And a bitch will put your ass out and not give two fucks. A nigga will know you broke, still get your pussy in dog yard. A hoe will know this your last dollar. She'll still take that shit. Go out with her homegirls and fuck another nigga. Come back and look at you cry broke. People don't be giving a fuck. Figure it off. I need to go lay down. If you want to book a one on one, text the number in my bio on Instagram. If you learn anything from my lives, when you see me put up the links for either my book or my merchandise, buy from me. Pay into the brand. Because y'all sit on here and get all this game for free. Stream the music. Share. Tell a friend and tell a friend, hey, go follow her. Go fuck with her. Child, them people wasting their time trolling on Instagram. When I hit this X in two seconds, that comment ain't going to even be there. I ain't even read the shit, so I don't be giving no fucks about none of that shit. Like I told y'all, bitch wouldn't leave this page if I was on dope. It could come out tomorrow that Love Dorsey smoke crack and ain't nobody still gonna unfollow the page. Fucked up and all, they gonna be right on here. She be speaking that real shit though. I need some of whatever crack she's smoking. That's what's gonna happen. That's it. So whoever trying to like stop what's going on, bitch, it's already written. Shit ain't going nowhere. I won't give a fuck if I live in a cardboard box. Ain't nobody leaving this page, bitch. I done told you motherfuckers that. Y'all be on Instagram and Facebook typing all that shit and giving your opinion. This is my page. Don't nobody give a fuck about y'all like that. Same way fucking poverty ain't give a fuck about Will Smith in the pursuit of happiness. We don't give a fuck about you on this page, bitch. You ain't stopping nothing, ho. I can be on dope, crippled, blind, crazy, getting dogged out by a nigga. Ain't now nigga a bitch gonna unfollow this motherfucker. I have to block the ones that don't even like me. You're wasting your motherfucking time. And I don't read no comments longer than about two lines anyway. So you won't even get, your, your trolling won't even make it to the source. The fuck? Now what you want me to tell you? Exactly. They'll be on here saying, bring crack back. If I was on crack, if crack got her giving out game like that, we want some. 
This ain't no fake page on Facebook. I'm back on Facebook. When you see the, the live on Facebook where they be having the fucking cash app on there, that's fake. I don't put no cash app up. I'm giving you the shit for free. But I appreciate whoever typed that. Who, who typed that? Uh, Kerrigan. Kerrigan, this me for real, Kerrigan. You, Mocha. All y'all. I appreciate that, though. But when y'all see that fake page live, y'all need to come in on, comment on there. Yeah, I'm finna go get some rest sometime. Y'all have a great night. I fuck with y'all.